Hey guys, this is Sarah, and today I'm going to do a book review. So the book that I'm reviewing today is called Suspicion by Alexandra Monir, I think her name is. I'm not sure how to describe it. M-O-N-I-R. I received this book from NetGalley, Delacorte Press, and Random House Children's in exchange for an honest review. This book is about a girl named Imogene Rockford who is descended from an English duke. And every summer she and her family go and visit the Duke and her aunt and uncle and her cousins in Rockford Manor. This huge castle type place where they all stay. And one summer when she's 12 her parents and her aunt and uncle die in a horrible fire. And she's turned over to her parents' best friends as her legal guardians and moved to New York City. Because of the awful memory she has of Rockford Manor, she spends the next five years all in New York and doesn't keep in touch much with her family. But when she is 17, she is contacted by the house manager who lets her know that she is now the Duchess and she has to take over the rules and move back to England. In this whole process and when she moves back, really, really strange and weird things start happening, all surrounding her cousin Lucia's death. So after I read this book, I found out that it was supposed to be a retelling of a book called Rebecca. I never read that book, don't really know who the author is, so I don't know about the accuracy or the correlation between the two books, so I'm not really going to get into that. What I do know is that I gave this book 4 out of 5 stars because I really, really enjoyed it. There was a lot of things that I love and just a few things that I have a few problems with and I'm going to talk about them. I loved the mystery surrounding this book. One of the reasons that Imogene takes the role of Duchess is because she wants to find out how her cousin died or what surrounded her cousin's death. It was actually pretty traumatic and when she moves back she tries to figure out and research it and talk to the people around to see how she was at the time of her death. And a lot of weird things and stuff that doesn't really make a lot of sense start unfolding and it was really interesting. It kept me on my toes and I was just as clueless as the main character. Another thing that was really great is that there's a paranormal aspect to the story. The main character as well as one of her ancestors have a paranormal sort of gift. I'm not going to say what it is because it's important to the plot but I love that. I love the history of that, I love the backstory, I love how there was a reason why this main character had paranormal things happening to her. I love when there's reasons why stuff happens, it's not just, it just happens just because the author was like, oh, this makes it more enjoyable for readers, let's just put it. No. Let's give it a reason why it happens, and I, I loved it. it was, it's really interesting. At the end of the book, there's an incredible, well not at the end, but like, Sort of near the end of the book, you find out this, like, giant plot twist. You guys, it's so good. I was so, like, what? Nah. What? For real? Nah. But, but it was for real, you guys. I wish I could tell you what it is, but it gives the whole thing away. But it's very interesting. I, I, it's, it's, it's good. So the only few things that I didn't enjoy about this book is that the character development for the main characters and the rest of the characters, to be honest, was lacking a lot. I felt like I didn't get to know her as well as I wanted to. I basically just saw her do things. There wasn't anything that let me know or interested me in what kind of person she is. I don't know, I just wanted more from her. I wanted to feel like I connected with her better when I didn't. Like I was rooting for her and I was on the chase with her, but it was not like I'm going on this ride with her. It was like I'm watching her do it. And I kind of want to feel like I'm 
part of the book. Like, I'm so drawn to it that I'm feeling the same thing she's feeling. That's my favorite part of the book, feeling like I'm transported into another world. And with this main character, it was really hard to get that into it. I was still into it and it was very enjoyable and I read it super quick. But it wasn't as hatching of a book as I would have liked. Something else that was just kind of like, eh, was the end. We kind of have like a cliffhanger sort of situation and it includes a lot of unanswered questions. And I also felt like the end was really rushed. It's basically just the last chapter and the epilogue that go really fast and kind of try to tie in a little bow, but there's a lot of unanswered questions, a lot of things that I was just kind of like, really? That's, that's it? And I wanted to know more, which you can see it as a good thing. I wanted uh, the ending to be more fleshed out. I wanted more of a resolution. It was just kind of like, let's close the door, wait till the next book which is kind of disappointing. But besides those two things, this book was awesome. I loved the supernatural stuff. I love the mystery. I love the backstory of that family. I love the setting. It's an English manor. It's huge. It's kind of like a castle and they have huge gardens. And something really important about this book is this maze. And I love mazes. I think it gives it this whole extra mysterious element to it when you're talking about a maze and you can get lost. And it's just, it was really, really good. It was a good freaking book, you guys. So this book is being published in December 9th of 2014. So make sure you get it when it comes out. You will not regret it. I recommend this book lots. Like, a lot. You guys really need to check this out. I need people to talk about this book with. I do. So do me the favor, do it for me, and buy it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions about the book or something, and I was kind of did this a little bit rushed, but if you have any questions, some stuff you didn't understand, clarification, more about what the book is really about, put it down in the comments. And I'll be sure to answer you guys as fast as I can. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.